1981 proved to be a very good year for Richard Petty and STP when he drove the number 43 Buick Wriggle to victory lane at the Daytona 500. The question though is, is that vintage STP that he used just as good or even better than the new stuff? Fortunately for us, we have a can of vintage 1981 STP to do some testing on. So let's get the testing underway and compare it against the modern stuff. In the first test, we'll see if STP helps oil do a better job resisting thermal breakdown and evaporation. We'll see if the vintage and new STP offer the best film strength. We'll see how STP affects the flow of oil when it's extremely cold. I had the vintage and the new STP tested by an independent oil testing lab and we'll compare each for anti-wear additives as well as detergents and dispersants. Finally, we'll add a 50-50 mix of the vintage and the new STP to an engine that knocks and smokes to see if STP can help. I got the vintage STP from Matt from the LSX Matt YouTube channel. A big thank you for sending the STP. STP oil treatment satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Adds anti-wear agent and viscosity improvers. Today's multi-grade oil begins to lose effectiveness as you drive. STP oil treatment, America's best selling oil treatment, is an exclusive formula which contains temperature activated long chain polymers. In winter or summer as engine temperatures rise, these temperature activated polymers uncurl to actually improve your oil's viscosity and therefore for lubricating qualities. This special formula increases viscosity and anti-wear properties. We're going to test that. Promotes lubricating qualities. Reduces oil consumption in many cars. Directions for use in all mileage vehicles. Engine oil. Maintain 10% by volume. You can also use this product in manual transmissions, gearboxes and differentials, power steering, two cycle engines, rebuilt engines and mechanical assemblies, general shop use lubricating oil. Made in USA. 1981 STP Corporation. We'll be comparing the vintage STP against this model modern STP. STP oil treatment helps protect engine against wear. Contains zinc anti-wear agent ZDDP. Reduces oil burning. Lubricates moving engine parts. Suitable for all seasons. Scientifically engineered for conventional or synthetic oils. High quality base stock. Carrier of active ingredients to help protect internal engine parts. Viscosity index improver. Cushions engine parts to help reduce metal to metal contact. ZDDP is an anti-wear agent to help provide a layer of protection for engine parts. 100% satisfaction or your money back. Add one bottle to four to five quarts of oil or between oil changes. Made in USA. Supertech Full Synthetic SAE 5W30 claims to provide superior protection. Dexos 1 Generation 2 approved. The Supertech oil is API SN Plus and ILSAC GF5. Supertech claims that their oil does a terrific job at providing resistance to thermal breakdown. Can STP boost the oil's ability to resist thermal breakdown and evaporative loss? We're going to find out in the next test. We'll first measure out 40 milliliters of STP into each oil container. Then we'll add Supertech for a total of 200 grams of STP and in oil into each each STP oil container. We'll also have one container with just Supertech in it to see how it performs. Okay, time to open this container the first time in nearly 40 years. Wow, this stuff has a lot more viscosity than the new STP. Wow, look at that. That stuff is incredibly viscous. We'll then crank up the heat to around 360 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. I'll rotate the oil containers every 10 minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. I'll also monitor the temperatures of all three oil containers throughout the test just to make sure that they're very close to the same temperature at all times. So why this test? The NOAC Volatility Test is an American Society for Testing and Materials test which exposes oil to a lot more heat than this test to simulate engine operating conditions around the upper piston ring area of an engine. High quality oils resist evaporation and thermal breakdown. At the end of this test, we'll find out just how much evaporation has occurred with each product. Then we'll be using the cooked products for additional testing to see which product is the best. It's been right at two hours since we started the test. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these products from the griddle and allow them to cool down. When we come back, we'll weigh each of the oil containers and see how much evaporative loss occurred with each product. The Supertech started out at 410.96 grams. It now weighs 409.74. That's a loss of 1.22 grams. The new STP formula started out at 394.58 grams. It now weighs 393.31. That's a loss of 1.27 grams. The Vintage STP started out at 430 grams. It now weighs 428.85. That's a loss of 1.15 grams. 
So the vintage STP wins, but it was very close. The Supertech oil by itself did very well at only losing 1.22 grams. It actually did a little bit worse with the new STP formula, and it did a little bit better with the vintage at only 1.15 grams. The vintage STP definitely has a lot higher viscosity than the new STP, and that was probably a big factor. Since it'll take a while for the oil analysis results, I'll go ahead and send the new STP samples to an independent oil testing lab that can provide us with a lot more information on anti-wear additive ingredients, detergents and dispersant content, as well as the oil's total base number or the oil's ability to resist becoming acidic over time. We'll come back to this near the end of the video. We'll definitely want to compare the cold oil performance of the Cook Supertech and the oils with STP in them, and then we'll do that near the end of the video. To ensure accurate test results, we'll go ahead and place the oil in a freezer that's set to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit until tomorrow when we test the cold oil flow of all three products. In the next test, we'll be comparing the lubricity or film strength of each brand. We'll begin by adding 40 milliliters of oil that's been exposed to heat into the test cups. The test will last right at two minutes. After the test, we'll compare the size of the wear scars on each of the bearings to determine which oil or oil plus additive combination provides the best film strength. While this test doesn't simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, it'll provide us with a lot of great information. The bearing used for the Supertech is all the way to the left, the new STP is in the middle, and the vintage STP is on the right. The Supertech oil with both the new as well as the vintage STP in it did better than just the Supertech oil alone. The wear scar between the new STP and the vintage was very close, but actually the vintage came out on top by a very small amount. We won't know if this is because of the viscosity or this is because of the ZDDP until we get the oil analysis results back. When it comes to selecting a high quality motor oil, cold oil performance is a huge factor. An oil that flows easily when cold will begin lubricating moving parts of an engine sooner than an oil that doesn't flow easily at all. So will the STP help or hurt cold oil performance? Let's kick off the cold oil flow test and we'll see how each oil flows flows when very cold. Supertech is in lane one, vintage STP lane two, and new STP lane three. Will the STP give Supertech the racer's edge, or does Supertech already have the racer's edge without any help from STP? And Supertech is out of the gate in a hurry, while both the vintage and the new STP seem okay with giving Supertech a head start. Finally, the new STP is out of the gate and heading down the track, but the vintage STP seems to be struggling to get moving. And Supertech has a commanding lead over the new STP. And is Supertech finishing first about 10 inches ahead of the new STP? And the vintage is finally out of the gate, but the new STP is more than halfway down the track. And the new STP finishes ahead of the vintage STP by nearly the entire length of the track. What a race by Supertech! STP claims it reduces oil consumption and acts as a cushioner. So can it help stop the engine smoking and knocking? We want to give STP every chance to succeed and definitely don't want motor oil getting in its way. So we'll mix a 50-50 ratio of vintage and new STP together and we'll see if it'll help. The combustible gas detector is indicating between 500 and 900 parts per million from the exhaust. We'll see if STP can help. The engine holds right at 16 ounces, which is near the top of this jar. The engine is knocking and smoking badly, and the only thing that can save it is a little STP. I'm going to mix in about half vintage and half modern STP and add it to the engine and see how the engine performs.
Oh, look at that. That spark plug has a lot of STP on it. I'm gonna put another brand new spark plug in this thing and see if we can get the engine running again. That's a really dirty spark plug. This is the second spark plug that's nearly fouled. Wow, that's a lot of buildup. Now that's a lot of carbon buildup. The vintage STP is on the left and the modern STP is on the right. Neither one of these products really uses much of an additive package. Calcium is a detergent dispersant and the vintage has only 9 parts per million. The modern only has 260 which just isn't very good. Now both the vintage as well as the modern STP claim to contain ZDDP also known as phosphorus and zinc. Unfortunately neither the vintage nor the new STP contains as much zinc and phosphorus as modern motor oil. The viscosity was very high on both of these additives and the oil testing lab just classified it as thick. The flash point was 395 and 390. The new STP has more calcium in it than the vintage, which is why the TBN is 5.4. Just looking at the additive package, Supertech is a far superior product than STP. Supertech has 65 parts per million moly. STP doesn't have any. Supertech has 188 parts per million of boron. STP doesn't have any. Calcium and magnesium are excellent detergent and dispersants. Supertech has 1,138 parts per million of calcium and STP only has 260. Supertech has 510 parts per million magnesium and the STP has one. The Supertech has 663 parts per million of phosphorus compared to only 82 for STP. Supertech also has 746 parts per million of zinc compared to only 127 for STP. So as you can tell, Supertech has a far better additive package compared to STP. Looking at the flash point, Supertech can also take the heat a lot better than the STP. So is modern STP better than the vintage? Absolutely. Absolutely. However, I think a more important question is, is modern motor oil better than modern STP? And the answer is absolutely yes. I've tested probably 35 to 40 different types of motor oil and the additive package in every single motor oil that I've tested is far better than the additive package in modern STP. STP claims to have some ZDDP in it, but the level of ZDDP in it is so much lower than motor oil that it's actually hurting the oil blend in your crankcase. So my advice is I wouldn't use STP unless you have an engine that really needs a much higher viscosity due to some mechanical issues that are taking place. All my videos, including this one, come from viewers. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a suggestion. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.